Ah! Don't I feel silly. Wait, hold on. No, I was doing this. I was doing this. Wait, do I know what I'm doing here? I almost feel like I don't know what I'm doing here. But I'm just gonna go for it. This looks right. And then... Uh... <laughs> Why am I like this? I'm gonna go with... Oh no... Oh no, the thing that I wanted to do isn't gonna work. This is terrible. How about uh, this then? The other direction. Right, 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 right. So, funny story. I got this new monitor. I think I've talked about it already a little bit. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I, I like it. I like it, I do. But, eh. <laughs> what was that? Oh. It, it, yeah. So, the really funny thing about it, the, far, the part where it gets to be really funny, because everything that I, you know, talk about gets to be really funny at some point, uh, I'm sure. Um, I didn't, I guess, think too hard about the, the resolution when I got the new monitor. And it, 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 it's like as many pixels wide as my laptop monitor is tall. So the resolution is, it's a, it's a bit of a letdown, I'm going to be honest. And the, the blacks aren't near as, as black. Um, I don't know how to fix that. Currently, I'm just tanking the brightness and hope and, and, and pretending like it's the same thing. Um, but uh, I don't, I don't, yeah, it was just, just kind of, eh, you know. It, it's not bad. I don't dislike it. I like having my monitor. I do. But it could be better, I suppose. There could be deeper blacks for one reason. Well, for one, for one, there could be. Okay, let's just finish the puzzle. I'd like to solve the puzzle. Yep. Oh, no. I did not solve the puzzle. This is not good. Wait, hold on. You're telling me this doesn't work for the guy in the middle? It should work for the guy in the middle. Oh, I see what's wrong. I see the problem. Kind of. Yes, I do. I do see the problem. I don't know how to get to the the other sections. Well, now I kind of want to know where I where would I even be going? Over there? Huh? Over there? No need, ski. Did the tax and change in my head? Does not come out flat. Just like your mother. Anyways, uh, I I have a problem, dude. I really need some help, man. Does something like this work? Of course not. Well, how in the heck would it? I need to... Um... Oh, boy. I'm getting a feeling that it's gonna be something like this. Which isn't good. Because then I can't do it. Uh... Darn shame, too. Well, this works, actually. And then as long as I section off that properly, there we go, it works. Okay. But, you know, somehow the people that designed the desking or whatever that goes into my apartment, it's like a whole wall of space. It's a whole wall of shelf space and a built-in desk, which is super cool unless you don't like the desk because you can't get rid of it. Um, there's an outlet in the desk. Which is nice, except for the fact that it's not flush with the face of the desk, and it's in like the least convenient place for somebody that's doing a, any kind of dual monitor setup that involves a laptop and, um, oh, well, this is interesting, isn't it? Uh, uh, I gotta say, I'm, I'm really having a time here. So what I'm thinking, I do this, essentially. Except for, 
I need one more so I can do this, essentially. Yeah. So I'm going to have to get something that either puts it on the wall, which I don't want to do because then I'm going to have to cover holes in the wall, or it will be basically... Oh boy, I'm going to have to do something weird, aren't I? Oh boy, I'm going to have to do something weird, aren't I? Hold on. I'm thinking... No, that's not going to work. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You'll maybe see what I'm getting at here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That... Oh, great. Uh, well, in that case, this works. Ha! Ah, jeez. Ah, uh, the, the mind that I have is really something sometimes. Fitting all the pieces together in my head is getting easier, and that's nice. Because here's four, here's another four, and there's the two. That's, that's all I have the wherewithal to explain. I really wish there was more. I still don't know what's up with these. It's, it's interesting that they're here. Oh, come on. Up twice? Up twice and then over? Or does that mean I have to go on the up path? I have to go over top of it. There's nothing, there's no other really path I could have taken there. So I'm not sure. Uh, well, we got to the, uh, uh, cool and epic bonus area, so that's nice, but I kind of want to see if I can get to any of the other cool and epic bonus areas. You can turn it! Why am I so stupid? I could have done the, um, I'm gearing up to do the wrong thing, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, what? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on a second. This was the first one that I did, right? And that sends me up, right? So I can essentially do the same kind of deal, but like this. Yes, and that'll send me the complete wrong direction, but I can just invert it, and it's the same deal. And I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do from here. I said, I'm sure there's something I can do from here. You know, sometimes this game confuses me to no end. Hey, there is there is something I can do from here. Cool. When we choose silence, we choose to give up the reasons not to love, which are the reasons for going to war or continuing war or separating or being a victim, or being right. In a moment of silence, in a moment of no thought, no mind, we choose to give those up. This is what my teacher invited me to. Just choose silence. Don't even choose love. Choose silence, and love is apparent. If we choose love, we already have an idea of what love is. But if you choose silence, that is the end of ideas. You are willing to have no idea, to see what is present when there is no idea, past, present, future. No idea of love, no idea of truth, no idea of you, no idea of me. Love is apparent. Gangaji, 2009. What a crock of shit. I mean, um... <laughs> so, I, uh, I, uh, I wasn't expecting to, after the last quote, run into something that I so vehemently disagree with. Um, and I suppose now I'm going to have to explain why I have such vehement disagreement with that. Um... I have to. How did I not get that the first time? So, I forget who exactly it was that said, if you wish not to be criticized, simply say nothing, do nothing, and think... Or, say say nothing, do nothing, think 
uh, I don't know if he said think nothing and be nothing, or if it was just um, say nothing, do nothing, and be nothing. Essentially, I, I'm not a big fan of nothingness, personally, as, as a matter of policy. And I don't think it is really... I don't think it really can be called a right to say that it is a good way of living your life to reduce yourself and your thoughts to nothingness. Uh, and I can, I guess, sit here and say, um, you know... It, it's just, it's just, it's a weird quote not to wrap my head around. It's not difficult to wrap my head around what she's saying there, or what Aganji was saying there. Sounds way too much like Gandhi. Big fan of Gandhi. I loved his work in Clone High. Um, but... Y <sighs> Whatever. I feel like I, I'm somehow stepping on the toes of somebody that, like, actually has a significant amount of people that like them, somehow. I've never heard of this person before. Um, but it's just... I don't see why you would seek to be nothing. Um, I don't know, maybe this is coming from secular religion more so than one that relies on a creator, a god. There's an interesting thing I guess I was talking about with my coworkers, where my one of my coworkers is big into meditation, and he talks about basically the same kind of deal: the emptying of one's mind, the be nothing kind of meditation. And um, at one point, it's not that he likened it to prayer, but he was mentioning that um, they did some kind of study where the mental state that you're in when you're meditating and when you're in prayer is the same kind of deal. And I, I can sit and say, yeah, that makes sense that you're in the same kind of mental state. It's the state of, I suppose, just pure spirituality. They're not focusing on the world, the immediate surroundings. But I, I can't I, I suppose I can't really disagree more that it is um, all too similar in that meditation and prayer have the very significant difference of purpose and direction. Is that something down there? I've talked about my religion before, and this seems to be... It, it seems like this is going to be the, the, the Yoku's Island Express of this season of whichever games I'm playing, where it'll be the one where I talk about whatever the hell I want. And, uh, damned if you try to stop me. <laughs> um, but it... Yeah, I'm trying to think of a good way of formatting my point here. I, I don't see why there would be greater purpose in nothingness than there would be in an attempt at communication with the divine. And I, I can sit here and understand that, well, if you're not the type to believe in a divine, then meditation is still beneficial to you from a headspace point of view. But, uh, well, I believe in God. And, you know... I enjoy the attempt to communicate. Now, I say that, and I'm, I'm not exactly the greatest at actually keeping up with prayer. I probably should. But, you know, how did I get up here? Okay, here we are. I, I just have some virulent disagreement with the idea that the culmination of mankind is... I could have gotten up here without that to become nothing, to some degree. Oh! I see. 
Okay, I see what I have to do. For one... Oh boy, this is going to be fun, isn't it? We're going to do that. And I'm going to see if I can't get over there to see if that can just come over here. Because if it can, it looks like I've got enough space for there to be a walk-up right here, and I can just... Wee! Right up there, right? Um... I don't think mankind is really destined for nothingness. And I don't see why we ought be when, at least in my own view, there is a creator to which we can be grateful and and just something that we can put our energy towards besides base nothingness. And again, I, it, I, I can sit and understand that there is some benefit to... Uh, what am I doing here? Right, okay, I see what I'm doing here. Nope, that's not going to work. Uh, uh, a base nothingness kind of try way of, way of doing things, I suppose. Because, again, I hate to really get into the kind of, like, talk about uh, energies and sending your chakras out into space or whatever, but I, I really do see it in the form of if you're focusing on nothing, then it is just nothingness. If you are focusing on the divine, a creator, whatever it is that you believe to have value, serious value, then that is more productive. In my head it is... I, I can't for the life of me sit still in a quiet room and just sit, you know? And yet, as much as it might not be like, productive in terms of... Oh, well that's interesting, I can see that through here. Um, like, it doesn't benefit my finances to like, play video games like this. Um, but I, I find greater benefit in the idea of, oh, hey, just progressing in something than I would with just doing nothing, you know, putting myself towards nothing, becoming nothing, essentially. Well, literally, I mean, yeah. And I suppose I would also disagree to some extent with the idea that love is apparent. Or, I suppose that love is kind of the be-all, end-all. I don't know. Like, it, it, it's, it seems to ring as the same kind of deal where you could just say, like, well, if we just didn't care about anything or held any values, then we would all get along. I'm like, well, yeah, if only it were that simple. Well, it is that simple. It honestly is that simple. If you just didn't care about anything, you wouldn't have any problems with anybody. And yet, nobody with, like, more than a couple brain cells sits and says, well, I guess we should just stop caring about everything, because people have things that they care about. That's not a bad thing. Um, you could argue that it becomes a destructive thing when paired with, I don't know, anything, really. I suppose I'll bring this back over there just to keep the path open. But... Uh... I, I try not to have a baseline, um, I, I try not to have a, a base disgust when it comes to general conflict, I suppose. People will be in conflict, and that stems quite simply from just the fact that people think different things. And to reduce that to just, well, if we would all just think about nothing. If we would all just be nothing, then that would be perfectly fine. It it it, it becomes a stagnation. You would no you, you cease to be humanity, the kind of humanity that we are, you know. I don't know. Again, I have no problem with the people that seek to become nothing. I'm just not gonna do it, you know. <laughs> and then I, I, I suppose I can make a kind of funny statement about uh, why put this out? <laughs> why, why put out the quote, you know? Um, 
Mr. Nothingness. You should put your name on the quote. Well, then again, I guess. People don't typically say things so that people can quote them on the internet. At least the people that end up being quoted on the internet don't typically say things to be quoted on the internet. Where am I going? You know what? I think I was going back to dry land. But there's not really too much point to that because, I mean, I have the boat. This isn't a bad place to be. But, you know, I would prefer somewhere else, I suppose. And I do still have to finish the, uh... For one, there are a couple more of those. I don't know where exactly I would be able to see the whole dang thing there. I betcha it's off of there. Maybe, but I mean, I already tried that, so maybe not. Hmm. Anyways, I guess we're going back to the boat, which is uh, somewhere. Here we are. I um, am really hoping people aren't too terribly confused by the construction of this uh, treehouse. I'm more confused by the quotes. But, you know. It seems to have at least some degree of variety in terms of what the inherent values are. Which is fine. I like that. I can appreciate that. Because, again, the last one was like, um... What was it again? Individualism within religion. That's what it was. The, the quote ended up being... Uh, something along the line, to paraphrase and put it into modern terms, or at least from what I got out of it, to require or an organized religion is to some degree inherently degrading the religion itself. Filtering it through other people. Um, you know, I go to church and all, but I... <laughs> I go to the Episcopal Church. <laughs> I don't agree with everything the Episcopal Church stands for, in that they are wet blankets, to some degree. They are very non-confrontational, which is fine if you want to be a big church with a lot of people. I just don't think you need to be a big church with a lot of people, you know? I just think you need to be right. Um, but I don't trust people to be right. That's why I don't you know, well, I don't hardly do near anything that requires someone else be right, because I don't think people are right all that often. I hope to be right myself, and I suppose you could argue that me all but requiring that I be right within my own, uh, my own relationship with the divine, the spirituality, um, might be a bit pretentious, precocious, what have you. But, I... Uh, I don't know. I guess all I can say to that is that I... I suppose I trust my myself and my own interpretations directly more so than having to filter it through. But maybe that's just my Baptist upbringing s screaming through my... <laughs> my, uh... semi-Protestant currents. My, uh, just the way I am, I suppose. I sure hope I don't have to do anything to lower this here. It doesn't seem like it. And we're gonna, we're gonna figure out what's, oh, we were already over here. Don't I feel silly, huh? I guess I just have to find an area that doesn't already have a beam coming out of it, which is basically the other side of the island. Uh, well, we'll go, uh, here next. Why not? I'll, I'll I'll crank up the I'll crank up the speed on this. I kind of feel bad that I was talking for so long about just I don't know religious topics. I try not to get into the weeds with anything too dicey, but I don't see why this would be considered too dicey. So yeah, if you're not a fan, suck me off. <laughs> I know, very Christ-like of me to say. To be fair, uh, you know, I personally remember the verse where... Oh, never mind. That's probably blasphemy. Dang it. 
The problem with these ones is that I'm never sure where the ending is. Okay, there's the ending. We're just going to have a big boat episode at some point. And it's going to be a jolly good time. And it's probably going to happen before the central area. But, you know, after all of the other areas. Because it's going to be the boat episode. I'm going to remember all the puzzles. And we're going to go back and forth and have a jolly good time. Ooh-wee. Huh. I really should have seen that one coming, though. Oh, well. We'll see more things coming on the next episode. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will damn you to hell for all eternity. Eternal hellfire damnation. Ah. Uh, just need to get that out of my system. Good times. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.